Hello, my name is Steven from Byte2A Radios, and today I'm going to show you how to program encryption into your DM32 Baofeng radios. First steps first, you want to make sure your radio is powered on, and then plug your programming cable with the K1 connector into your radio. And make sure your radio is on, like so. After that happens, what you want to do is you want to read from your radio. So you're going to do the arrow, the radio with the arrow leaving the radio. Um, it's also a yellow arrow, this one right here. So I'm going to read it. All right, now we can see is a read is successful, so I'll press OK here. Um, if I wanted to mess with any channels, I do that in this grid here, but we're covering encryption in this video. So I'm going to down here to digit, hit digit, go to digital encrypt systems, okay? We have three slots here, okay? The first slot is always dedicated to AES-286, second slot is dedicated to AES-128, and third slot is dedicated to ARC-4. If you switch slot 2 and 1, for instance, if I put AES-128 here and use the 128 key right here instead of the 286 key, it's not going to work. Slot 1 has to be AES-286. And the key can be any key. You can copy and paste a key. You can randomly type numbers in here just as good as the key generator. I'll press OK. So there's my keys. To program these into the actual radio after setting them, what you want to do is go to Channel, click your channel. Any one of the boxes, you can double click. It'll open the expanded menu. Okay, as we can see here, the encryption tag is already set, and it's set to use Encrypt 1. If we wanted to change that, we would just merely click this and press Encrypt 3, for instance. Um, by default, this encryption will be turned off, so when you're running encryption, make sure to click this encryption box and assign it to the encryption key you want that channel to use. Each channel is different, so go by each different digital channels and assign it separately. Okay. So press OK on that. And now the next thing to do is to write this to the radio. OK, when this complete, you're going to write successful prompt that opens right here. Just press OK on it. If I press OK again right here, it'll write the radio again. So I'm merely exiting out of this box. Now we're going to look at the actual radio. So I have the radio here. It's turned on. One. As you can see, there is a little shield above channel one. That little shield indicates that it's currently encrypted, running encryption, that little purple and blue shield with a white line in the center. Okay. I can go ahead and change which encryption key each channel uses by going to the channel, channel one for instance, I'm gonna press this okay button, go to settings, channel set, and then I'm gonna go all the way down to 13, digital encrypt. I go to encrypt list, and here I can reassign um, which encryption key I want channel 1 to use. Okay? I can set up a 2, 3, or 1. Mind you, 1 was uh, AES-286, 2 was AES-128, and 3 was ARC-4. Okay? Always make sure your encrypt switch is turned on. That's pretty much the same thing as checking that little box that enables encryption in the software. Okay? And once that's set, you're good to go. You got encryption programmed in there. As you can see, the little shield and the dig symbol indicating that it's a digital channel. And that is the long and skinny on how to program encryption on the DM32 Baofeng radio. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and call our tech team, me or David, call our sales team. And any more questions, feel free to call. This is Buy2Radio's out.